What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and this is Makeup Adventures with Gabby. Duh, because my name is Gabriella. Anyways, today it is another music video Monday and I'm really excited because I will be doing another Latin out artist makeup. Um, today I'm going to be doing Carol G Mikama makeup look. Mikama just means my bed, so it's a very sexual song, just like any other Latin urban reggaeton songs. So, you know, what's new? Okay, so I'm gonna be doing one of her looks from that video. I'm really excited, I'm really nervous. My voice sounds like I'm hitting puberty again. I guess it's Sunday, and what happens on Saturday nights? This girl goes out, and she's at karaoke, blah, 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 blah. We talked about this on my first video, and if you haven't watched my first video, I'll just leave it down below so you can hear the whole story, okay? So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the makeup. And obviously, as you can tell, my eyebrows are already done. They're very bold because her eyebrows are always like super bold, like super intense, and I think that's like one of her traits. My eyebrows are not the same today. Oh well, but at least my hair is done. I think this is the first video where my hair is done, so make my eyebrows look the way that they are looking right now. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade Dip Route in the shade Medium. Also primed and shaped my eyebrows with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. So I'm probably, or I will be using the Too Faced chocolate gold palette if I can open it I haven't actually used this palette in a really long time and it smells like chocolate so I'm really hoping this lighting actually is good for you guys I hope that you can see I, I had to come up with like a clever idea to like have good lighting because it's super cloudy outside it's also like 5 30 p.m. and the sun is going down and I just decided to film my video right now because I don't know uh well actually because I wasn't home this morning so I couldn't film it but whatever okay look at that eyebrow go look at this eyebrow look at that one with my fluffy bowling brush I'm gonna take the shade so bougie right there this one right here so that's the shade I'm gonna take, and that's gonna be my transition shade. So it's gonna go all over my crease. So she has like this sort of cut crease going on, and it's not like a cut crease that goes all the way out here, but more like that, like oval shaped, I guess. So we're gonna try and recreate that. And with this, smaller fluffy brush I'm gonna be taking the shade truffle cocoa truffle and that's again gonna go on my crease and on my outer portion of my eye I'm gonna be taking a clean blending brush I wanted a little bit more in the chocolatey side, so the brown shades. I'm just gonna take a shade from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I don't actually have any single eyeshadows, so. And I'm going to take the shade Good as Gone. And that is gonna go on a even smaller blending brush. I'm just gonna take uh, that same clean blending brush now with a small brush like this it's dirty but that's fine I'm about to clean it so. I'm going to take the shade famous and I'm gonna put that all over my lid and I'm just gonna wet my brush first with some setting spray I 
actually going to bring it all the way out to here. <laughs> I find it's a little bright. I'm going to take I'm going to take a little bit of old money. So this copper looking one. Just to darken it out a little bit. I'm not gonna add any uh, uh, setting spray to my brush. I'm just gonna take a, a different flat brush that's also dirty. And it's really just to tone down the gold in that first shade that we use. I don't want it to take over the look, but like there's a difference now. I'm going to take second blending brush that we use, and I'm just gonna blend the edges out a little bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the eye. Well, not the rest of the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I did the second eye off camera. Boom, boom, boom. I also added, as as per usual, I added my waterline liner and I'm going to stick with this black color from Revenal, 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 If you know how to say this properly, please put it down in the description below because clearly I don't so what's new so I was asked why I never do it on camera I feel like it was seen to my soul and I don't think I'm ready for you guys to see into my soul yet so uh, so I'm gonna go with eyeliner because she obviously has a winked eyeliner and I'm gonna be using my tattoo liner by Kat Von D that's the one that we're gonna use and she has a pretty long winged eyeliner I don't really like having long eyeliner but again then again we're recreating a makeup look so I guess everybody just don't breathe okay for the next like 30 seconds of your life because I'm about to do the other side so Pray for me. Thank the lords of eyeliner. I'm just not even going to touch it anymore. Put my hair back with my little bow over here. Okay, I'm really excited. This is actually turning out really well. And my eyeliner is good. Well. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Fail Primer. <music> I'm gonna be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Urban. <music> I'm gonna be taking my uh, Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced in the shade Warm Sand, and that's gonna conceal my lacuna. <laughs> to set my face, oh, that's really bright. Just dropping everything. I'm gonna be taking my Hourglass translucent setting powder and I'm gonna set my face with that So I'm going to be doing some contouring today and I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer from my Benefit Cosmetics Blush Bar. So I'm just gonna go 
charcoal and with a big fluffy brush like this I'm gonna blend that out a little bit because I don't want any harsh lines of the contour and now I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade, in the shade cappuccino I'm gonna be doing some baking. We're just gonna go from up here to my mouth. And if you've ever noticed, my contour lines are never the same. It's like, how's your love life going? And this is the line of my love life. How's your life going? This is the line for my life. I'm gonna go, f I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish up my eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back in. And I'm gonna go right ahead with the shade Coco Truffle. So this one right there. And that's gonna go all over my lash. I'm gonna be taking a smaller brush. I'm gonna take that Born to Run palette by um, Urban Decay. And I'm gonna take the shade Gouda's Gone. It's the shade that I used earlier too to darken out with the eyes. And I'm just gonna put that on my outer corner. And I'm gonna attach them. So from this one to my lower lash. And I'm just gonna take a small flat brush like this. And I'm just gonna blend those out. And actually from this same palette, I'm gonna be taking the shade Blaze. That one right there. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner with a small round flat brush. And I'm going to connect it to that brown shade. I'm going to take that same shade and put it on my brow bone. So for blush, I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade Bora Bora. So this one right there. And I'm gonna take the same highlighter palette and I'm gonna take that highlight over here, which is small dye. Back at it again with the dropping. I'm just gonna take that same highlighter and I'm gonna put a little bit more on my in her corner, I find that her look is very like highlighted, like all of the lines where there should be highlight, she has highlight and it's very like popping. So we're gonna take off this craziness with a big fluffy brush. For lips, she has kind of like a, I guess like a nude lip, I can't really tell to be honest. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lipstick in the shade Spice. <laughs> I'm actually crazy, but I'm not actually like, this looks so weird. Looks like half of my lip is missing. I'm not a really big lipstick person, like, because I always wear the same ones, or I just don't wear lipstick at all. For mascara, my one and only mascara. You guys already know what it is better than sex mascara. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All right, guys. So this is the final look. This is somewhat of what she has maybe i just created my own version of what she has i want to put a picture again just beside me right there she's like this so that's me that's me being carol g if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want and comment down below any other video that you want me to recreate the makeup from without further ado I must say goodbye now, so I will see you in my next video. Bye.